Okay, Alex, I've got your poster front up here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let me just get this in the window so we can. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've got a couple of issues here, and I, I, a lot of a lot of the issues kind of revert back to my comments from your iteration for from the sketches. Um, do you remember? And if you went through some of those videos, which I always recommend doing, do this and take a look at not only your video critique, but take a look at as many video critiques from your classmates as possible, because it's 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 for sure there are going to be comments in there that are relevant to your own work. So I highly encourage looking at as many tutorials as possible. However, I did mention that the, the, all illustration should be worked into typography. We can't use illustration on the front of a poster. Um, and this is the reason being just so you know is that we that we're try, the whole concept here with this this project is to create meaning typographically um, and to practice uh, 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 techniques like simultaneity visual transformation visual substitution visual exaggeration visual mimicry visual correspondence a uh, continuation things like that all of the things that we talked about during weeks three and four um, we want to incorporate here. So what we're not doing that here because basically what you're doing is you're creating meaning using illustration. Okay, we need to create meaning using typography. So that's how why I, I recommend or I've required from from students that so to create all of your meaning based on typography. Now you can work illustration into typography as we saw in all of the examples. And if you haven't looked at the course announcements, definitely get in there and take a look at those examples um, for both last week and this week. So at any rate, what we're, we're after is creating meaning typographically. I think a, 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 a an example here would be to present Jimmy Carter and then take these the red and white stripes and, and clip them to his the letters of his name. That's just an example. I'm not saying do that. Okay, but that would be an example of, of, of incorporating this kind of meaning typographically. Or another uh, example, which I don't think would work because you don't have the room, would just be to place an American flag over the I for the tittle for, for the I, a little American flag. There's not enough room, but that would just be an example, right? Okay, so basically, and then I'll, conceptually, I think we have some issues here as well. And, and let me describe the reason why. Um, right now you're saying Jimmy Carter, 39th president. So the viewer is going to look at this and think this poster is about Jimmy Carter's presidency. It's not. It's about Jimmy Carter winning the Nobel Prize. And he won the Nobel Prize in 2002. And he was president from 77 until 82. So I think, yeah, something like that. So there's a disconnect here in terms of meaning. Okay, so we want this poster to to create meaning based on his accomplishments that, that drove him to win the peace the nobel prize in 1982 not his president presidency okay can you see where the signals are mixed here all right for that reason i encourage you to begin over and and listen to my comments here see if they, if they don't make sense let me know it's really super critical that you understand these points because they're extremely relevant to um, the practice of, of typography specifically using type as an image and creating meaning uh, typographically as opposed to uh, illustratively. Um, another issue that we have that points to a disconnect is the flag itself. Okay, 39th president was Jimmy Carter was, I think I had, I, like I said, I thought it was, I think it was eight, 77 to 82 or something like that. That wouldn't make sense. That's only six years. Well, whatever. Anyways, it was the late 70s to early 80s, right? So this flag is not the flag of the United States during that period of time. So again, we've got another indication pointing to a, a, a something that could be more accurate in terms of research. Okay, now I know I've thrown a lot at you, so let's talk about typography. Uh, Jimmy Carter, right now, these we don't have any kerning. Remember all of the rules of kerning that we used and all that work we did on kerning? We want to employ that here. 39th, right there, um, I would recommend using old style numerals or reduce the size of 39, just like we covered in class. And I would also superscript that TH. Um, that would be typographically correct and that would be industry standard best practice for typography. Okay. Uh, like I said, I know I've thrown a lot at you, so it's just imperative that you understand what I'm saying. And I, and I, and I do request that you maybe reconsider your approach here. Uh, and again, any questions at all, please get with me quickly, and we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Uh,
uh, in terms of understanding my, my comments and uh, making any necessary clarifications. All right, thank you very much, um, um, Alex, and, and again, any questions, let me know. Thank you.